With the fire forcing the evacuation of the entire village of Ruidoso, thousands of people are now flooding into communities all across southeast New Mexico. In Roswell, the city and the county have rushed to house as many people as possible. That's where News 13's Natalie Waters spent the day talking with evacuees and the people trying to help them. Natalie. Yeah, Dean, we spoke with several people today who told me they had just minutes to grab their things and get out of town. The sheriff drove down the street with the, the sirens going and his bullhorn saying, you have five minutes, grab them just a five, and don't try to take everything. You need to get out. That was Lee Smith, who owns a home in Rio Doso and lives there full time. He says he evacuated before sunset last night. Now, usually the drive to Roswell from Rio Doso takes about 45 minutes. Smith said it took them three hours to get to Roswell last night because of all the traffic from people trying to evacuate. Now, people throughout Roswell have been working to help the surge of evacuees over the last 24 hours. The Eastern New Mexico Fairgrounds has been one of the hubs where people are staying. Around 75 people have cycled through there. And meanwhile, donations of food and clothing are pouring in for people and their pets. It's, it's heartbreaking. I can't imagine what they're going through, leaving their home, not knowing if it's going to be there to go back to. So we're here for them and we're doing what we can. And I know that all of Roswell and the surrounding area is as well. Now, so far, the city of Roswell says they have six confirmed shelters people can stay at. At the fairgrounds, they're making room for around 100 more people to stay. And we're told there's also several areas around the city where free meals will be available in the coming days. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. Alan Magordo and Ortiz are also setting up shelters. We have posted more information on the helping set up there. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.